That hood looks like a secondhand part that still needs to be sprayed now, not working at all. already way behind schedule. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to the channel, dude. Check this out. Oh my goodness, bro. This color is absolutely insane. And I love how it makes all these like raised edges and body lines pop 10 times harder. Looks so, so sick. Bedside, dude. Wow. So much more character now. But overall, dude, the color is absolutely insane. It's gonna look so good all blue with all the black accents. So I say without further ado, we carry on this project, take it on back down to the garage and wrap up a few more panels. Let's do it. So this right here is exactly what I was talking about when I said do not off-road your truck before you wrap it because dirt like this gets literally everywhere and it makes the prep process a lot more entailed. I'm going to clean out the taillight area right here and anywhere else I find some dirt and then get to laying down the wrap here on the driver's side bedside. prep portion all this tape right here is to create a lower tack point so I have on have it on areas I don't want the wrap sticking to such as the bumper the fender flares and the cab corners as well as the caps up here on top of the bedside the wrap doesn't stick to the tape very well so it helps the wrap glide off the bumper and I'm able to tuck it in between these two panels right here a lot easier so that part is pretty much done everything's been wiped down and I say we just grab the wrap and get right to it So I have the bumper corner prepped for the wrap. I masked off the parking sensor, the exhaust tips, and of course the wrap on the bedside. Lay down some knifeless cutting tape right here because it's pretty sharp bend. I don't think I'll have enough like slack to push the wrap that way without overstretching it. So I'll put a separate piece on top with the top piece going on last so the flap goes down. And I'm hoping the piece I cut off the bottom part of the wrap for the bedside will cover the bumper, but we shall see. So I just removed the cap off the top of the tailgate. Super easy. I wanna get this piece off right here so I can get a nice clean wrap job underneath it. And there's six T30s on top, so I'll get those things off right there. Before I start prying off the plastic piece from the back of the tailgate, I'm gonna remove these two 10 mil bolts that hold the handle on.
Alrighty, so for anyone wondering, yes, you can wrap over this plastic. Will it last? I have no idea. Only time will tell. And just like that, welcome back to a brand new day. So the entire rear of the truck is done. Everything came out absolutely amazing. I was a little bit worried about the rear bumpers because they are this like textured type plastic, same as the front bumper right here. And a lot of times, wrap has a hard time sticking to that plastic texture type finish. But so far it's holding up so good, so we should be good to go on that. The goal for today though is to wrap up the entire front end. And uh, this might be the most, not difficult, but the most like technical portion of the entire wrap because of how like round it is. All these hard lines and different directions to feed the material. Probably have to lay an inlay right here and right here as well. But nothing your boy can't handle. Just probably a more time consuming portion of the entire wrap job. But it's all good. Today's Friday. Um, I want to have this whole thing done by Sunday, the absolute latest. We're already way behind schedule. I wanted to have this entire thing done by Wednesday. Obviously, we missed that deadline by a lot so far already. So Sunday is the absolute latest. I want this entire thing done. That would leave tomorrow and Sunday for the passenger and driver side as well. So we're on track for Sunday. Let's so we get right to wrapping up this grill surround right here, the front bumper, and see how it looks with the front end all done. Let's get to it. So my philosophy when it comes to wrapping something is to essentially just play it safe. I like using seams anywhere I possibly can and get away with including body lines like this one right here. You can run a seam, like an inlay right here, run a seam right here on the body line, and you basically won't even tell it's there. So I'll probably do that from right here all the way to over here. That way I can avoid overstretching it into this little recess right here, which is pretty deep, and I don't want the uh, wrap to end up lifting in the future. So to avoid that, I'll run a separate piece right here. Uh, knife is cutting tape right here, and this right here on the bottom will be its own piece right there. through a couple of comments you guys left on the last video. I'll finish out the entire front end, the grill surround, and the front right side of the bumper. The comment section is always a very curious thing. It's it's usually it's usually pretty lit. It's a party in the comment section um, almost always. Black looks better than the blue. I mean, that's a very subjective opinion, but I support you. Hey Mark, that color blue will look sick on the truck. Keep up the great work. You definitely are my favorite YouTuber ever. Put up the best content. I appreciate the positive comment. Thank you, Brendan. Elijah said, imagine being affected by something that someone else does with their truck. Good rap work, great video. Thanks for sharing. You are welcome, William. Tony said that blue looks super good. You're right. Why you gotta ruin a truck like that? I don't know. James said, steps to be a YouTuber, debadge, truck, and get tint, cheap lift, preferably rough country. Whoa, whoa. 35-ish tires, cheap wheels, fuels, XDs, or etc. Add some color to show your uniqueness, and then don't forget your Instagram handle on the window, bro. You got it all figured out. You should be a YouTuber too. This ugly thing is gonna look like Ken's Barbie edition truck. <laughs> Not funny. That hood looks like a secondhand part that still needs to be sprayed now. Not working at all. Well, I'm not leaving the truck with just my hood wrapped. Give that truck to your sister. It looks like it belongs in Barbie's dream house. Ditch this color, bro. That joke was already taken. Still not funny. Being my Tundra's hood sky blue. SMH. Is that what I should have titled the video? Is what you're saying? Make sure you wrap the turbos so they don't blow off. Man, yeah. So you guys, I mean, 
you can't judge a color based off of one panel. It's got to all kind of connect. Like the door is not being done, done right now. It's hard to see like what the truck will really look like unless like everything's connected like this section right here. It's starting to kind of come along, but it's still hard to tell until all this is done too. So yeah, dude, stay tuned. It's going to look good. I think especially with all the black accents we're leaving behind, like the wheels, obviously, uh, the roof stain, uh, gloss black. This will all be black still. The fender flares, which we might do in like a, um, like a forged carbon or something like that. Mirror caps are probably going blue, I think, to make it look wider. So yeah, stay tuned. I mean, you can't really tell what it's going to look like off that one panel. So I'm sure once it's like actually done, you guys will all love it. So if you guys do, great. If you guys don't, that's great too. It's all good. So that is all I have for you guys today. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace.